Hello gamers, I am Tigwick and tonight we're going to take a look at the Open Broadcaster software here. This is what I use and what many other people use to do exactly what I'm doing right now, which is to create videos recording your screen or a video game that you're playing or anything like that. Uh, let's get started here. You can visit the obsproject.com website in order to grab your copy of Open Broadcaster software, uh, whether it's for Windows, Mac, or Linux. Make sure to grab OBS Studio as it is the most current and I highly recommend the stuff that it kind of bakes in now. Once you have your copy, we'll just crack it open right here, and this is OBS. Once you're in OBS, you're going to want to create one scene in order to get started. So click Add at the bottom of the Scenes list here. Type in the name of your scene, and we're going to use the tutorial scene that I've just created. Once you click on Scene, you'll have absolutely nothing in your sources. We're going to remove these. Uh, actually, I can't remove these. Well, I'm going to remove that one. But I can't remove the other one, because if I do that, you won't see this video anymore. That's how it works. Um, you'll do one of two things. You'll probably want to capture your monitor or the full display. So you'll want to go to add and either window capture, game capture, or display capture for the most part. Those three are your go-to basics. They capture either your entire monitor under display capture. Window capture is a specific window. Game capture is usually going to be a specific game where you can tell it to capture any full screen application and then it usually picks up on that being a game. Those are the three things you need. One of those will get you content on your screen from whatever program or whatever you're trying to do. From there, it's up to you what you kind of layer on top, and it is a sort of layer system. What you can't see is that I've got a preview going on on my other screen. I'm going to flip this on so you can see what it would look like if the preview was there. But normally, in the preview, you can move things around if I have stuff on the screen. In this very basic example, I only have one source, and that is literally the monitor itself that you see here. You see my, um, uh, you know, my mouse moving around and my OBS screen. That is all we're doing on the screen right now, and that's as that's as simple as it can be in order to record the, um, uh, you know, the screen. You can layer on uh, webcam, uh, images, whatever you want. But if you really just want to record a program, you can either do the widescreen monitor or simply the uh, the window capture. And the window capture is useful for getting uh, specific applications. So if I go OK on the window capture that we're going to create here, this new one. In the window capture, you can choose from the various windows that you have open and simply pick it based on the, uh, the actual open application that's running right now. Now, if it's not a game, sometimes this works um, better. And if it is a game, sometimes you still need to do it this way. Just be aware of that. But this is usually your go-to for a basic application, you know, Photoshop, um, any sort of, you know, any office programs or any of that stuff. If it's a program and not a game, this is usually going to be your easiest method of getting that program on the screen for other people to see. We'll, uh, we'll cancel this because it's going to start, uh, it will kind of mess with the order of things on the screen here. I want to kind of leave the widescreen monitor as the default that you're seeing. If you need to, you can alter the mixer settings and stuff. You will have to set an input device uh, somewhere such that uh, OBS knows in your audio that you have a microphone. So if you go to the settings and audio, you can go to your mic and set it to whatever device you need and set your desktop audio at the same time and make sure to set the channels appropriately. Um, if you have multiples and you want to do multiples into one, uh, into multiple tracks, you can do that too by enabling them here. If you need to have multiple people talking, you can do that. Uh, it gets a little bit more complex at that point. Uh, you will have to pick the output here for your recording, the very basic recording. Uh, you'll flip to recording if you're doing videos, and you'll need to change the, um, your path. Uh, you can leave it on MP4, pick how many audio tracks you want, and then you will choose what they're used for over on this side. Choose the encoder you need, and the encoder, if you have NVNC, I recommend using it if your video card supports it. It is, um, takes a lot of weight off the CPU. As you can see down here, my CPU is only running at about 16 to like 15 to 16%. Um, if this is on the normal encoder that is completely, I believe, um, software and then CPU based, this shoots up to like 25%, like one entire core of my quad core machine. You can rescale the output if you'd like here. And the, uh, oh, that's interesting, my output. Oh good, I don't have the box ticked. I was like, oh, I'm res rescaling it to 1024, no. Okay, uh, the bit rate of the audio and, sorry, not the audio, uh, the bit rate, the uh, constant or variable bit rate and keyframe preset. I've left all this stuff as I believe the fairly default settings here. Under the audio, the tracks you've chosen on the recording thing here, 
uh, then you can choose like the name of the track so you can then uh, use that kind of for reference for yourself as to what's going to be on that track when you then open it up later on and the bitrate that you're uh, you're recording at and video you can then choose uh, to output on a different scale uh, if you're recording at 1080p and want to only do 720 you can do that but I highly recommend recording at the best possible resolution you can do because then you can capture the most detail and downscale from there if you have to. Once your audio is set up there, it should show up, your two tracks will show up here. And because it knows that this is mapped to your mic, there's me talking, as you can see here. If you click on mixer, you can actually down mix the, um, the, the mic to mono like mine is, or you can pan it and you can offset it if you need to and then you pick the track that it applies to here so uh, you can also if you want record the uh, your audio to multiple tracks so if you wanted the you know the desktop audio for instance the the game or the music to record to multiple tracks you can do that right here um, that is an incredibly simplified dumbed down very very basic idea of how to use obs to get a single thing on the screen and then start recording it uh, to a mp4 file after maybe capturing your microphone if you have one turned on like I do here. Thanks for watching and I hope to see you in the next video.